Brock Torano, everyone. How the fuck am I supposed to follow that? <laughs> guys, we're lucky you guys got two cripples in a row. <laughs> Three, if you count the one that got fondled by her dad, apparently. <laughs> uh, you guys are fun. I hate tall people. Or as I like to call you, biggers. I'm sorry, is that your word? <laughs> you guys just ask me the dumbest shit. You really do. I remember this one time I was at a gas station. This guy came up to me. I was like, whoa, man, how'd you get so short? Bigger, please. Are you okay, sir? <laughs> I thought you died on me. But no, nah, it's not like I chose this. I just didn't eat my vegetables growing up. I use the phrase growing up uh, very loosely. <laughs> but no, nah, my favorite uh, bigger encounter, if you will, is I was doing a show here at Tacoma Comedy Club. And after the show, this lady came up to me to tell me she liked my set. But she started kneeling down to talk to me. <laughs> I had to tell this bitch five times she could stand up. <laughs> but she's like, no, I want to do this. And to be honest, I don't remember what she said, but she might as well have been like, did you go on stage today? <laughs> hey, big guy, did you write your own jokes? <laughs> Yeah, bitch, I use crayon. <laughs> Being a comedian's fun. I was a porn star for a while. If you want to look me up, my uh, movie was called Shortcomings. One and two. They didn't call me back for the third one. <laughs> I was gonna be a rapper, but the name Too Short was already taken. <laughs> Ad dickhead. <laughs> nah, being a comedian's fun. Has taught me the importance of a side hustle because I know no matter how hard I work, I'll never make it big. <laughs> it's very sad. But yeah, uh, so the side hustle I chose was to work in the service industry, which has taught me a lot. It's taught me that there are certain stereotypes that are true. And it is, in fact, okay to hate those people. Women celebrating your birthdays, I'm fucking talking to you. <laughs> yeah, no, just because you're celebrating the anniversary of popping out of your mom's twat doesn't mean you need to act like one. Oh my God. Are there any couples in the audience? All right, all right. How long have you two been together? Long time. Long time? How long's a long time? Doesn't answer my question. Too long. Too long. Oh, you guys are gonna break up. How you doing? <laughs> you ever had someone stand up there in doggy style with you? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Is he giving you that movie style romance? He's got it all. He's got it all? Yeah. Except for the standing up there in doggy style part, right? <laughs> oh my God, no. So apparently, I was talking to a female friend of mine, and apparently women want this movie style romance, which to be honest, I think is overrated. Granted, I just got out of a movie style romance. The movie was Forrest Gump. <laughs> Because her personality was like a box of chocolates. 
<laughs> Empty inside. <laughs> yeah, she had this cute little thing she would do. Like whenever she was mad at me and wanted me on the couch, she would just put a baby gate in the bedroom doorway. <laughs> really made me uh, actually a little too per uh, passive aggressive for my taste. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> But it did make me understand the hatred towards Trump's wall. <laughs> you guys are a fun crowd. All right. Say hi to me after the show. You guys are fun. <laughs> it's my time. My name's Brock Tarana.